Miyako. Let's play. Come on. Rin, quiet, not now. Look, the giants are losing. I'm gonna cheer them on. Here, help me, Rin. No, I don't like baseball. Ugh, lost another point. Come on, we can't lose this game. I'm Miyako. I'm in eighth grade. The little girl bothering me is Rin, my neighbor. I was trying to watch the game, but she wouldn't leave me alone. I'm starting to think that this is all her fault. She's the reason why we're losing. Rin, stop it! Sorry, Miyako. It's cool. This is Ayane, Rin's mom. She has a prosthetic arm. Apparently, she was in an accident as a child. In a few months, my sister and her brother were getting married. We've been neighbors for years. She looked after me all the time as a child. These days, she comes over with Rin to hang out. She even gives me tickets to the Giants game sometimes. She's a great person. Then, one day, my mom said something strange to my sister. Hey, about the marriage, can you call it off? What? What are you saying, Mom? Well, um... Mom? I think I know what you're getting at. What? Miyako? The giants got destroyed yesterday! I'm upset too, Mom. But I'm sure they'll bounce back, so we gotta stick together. Get a grip, Mom. Ugh, you're just like your dad. God rest his soul. Anyways, don't listen to her. She's just upset with the giants. What? Listen, I don't want to be family with someone who has a prosthetic arm. You mean Ayane? Yeah. What would people think you know? What? You always took care of her. You've known her since she was a kid. Yeah, but that's because she wasn't family. But no, it's different. Mom, did you hit your head or something? You're upset about the game last night, aren't you? It's okay. Shut up, Miyako. Please, call off the marriage. No way. I love Kenya and Ayane. Love them both. Haruka, wait. She ran out of the house. At the time, I didn't think much of it. She's just upset about the Giants game last night. I thought she'd forget about it after a good night's sleep. Then, a week later, Ayana and Rin came over. Miyako, let's play! Fine, there's no baseball, so fine. Yay! Thanks! Thanks, Miyako. She really loves you. No problem. She's still young, but I'll make sure she grows up to be a Giants fan. Oh, okay. Just go easy on her. What's Giants? You really want to know? I could go on for hours. Uh, no thanks. Come on, let's play house. House? Come on, hurry! Ayane, we gotta talk. Oh, hey, what is it? Your arm. Is there anything you could do about that? Huh? I'll be blunt. I don't want to become family with you. I told Haruka to call off the wedding, but she didn't listen. So I thought maybe we could do something about that arm. Uh, sorry, but there's really nothing I can do. Oh, I see. Hmm, could you talk to Kenya for me then? Maybe he could call off the wedding. I can't do that. It's their decision, so... Well, you gotta do something. Figure it out. I know. Don't come to the wedding. It's the least you can do. Hey, guys. Are you playing house, too? I know you're playing the mean mother-in-law. Play with us. Rin. I heard what you said, Mom. You're not making any sense. Stop saying those things to Ayane. Ugh, adults are talking. Go away. Mom, stop it. You're the one acting like a child. Shut up. Go back to your room and watch the Giants game or something. I'm going to the store. She ran out of the house. Ayane, sorry about Mom. It's okay. Do you feel the same way about me? Not at all. You're a Giants fan. I'd love to be family with you. Thanks. Miyako, let's go play upstairs. Okay, Rin, but stop pulling on my clothes. I was still worried about Ayane, but Rin made me go upstairs. Rin, sorry, but I gotta go downstairs. What? After what Mom said to her, I couldn't leave her alone. Then, I saw something shocking. 
My mom was back. She had a knife in her hands. She was standing behind Ayane who was watching TV. Ayane had no idea she was there. Ugh, look at this arm. So ugly. She raised her hand. She was gonna cut off her prosthetic arm. Oh, this isn't good. I gotta stop her. Mom was still moving her hand up. I could still stop her. I ran behind her, grabbed her 300,000 yen bag, and threw it on the knife. Ah, that should do it. What are you doing, Miyako? I could ask you the same thing. What do you think you're doing to Ayane? I'm glad I got here in time. What the? No, no, my Chanel! <laughs> she broke down crying. Oh, thank you. You saved me. No need to thank me. Hey, don't cry. Wen was trying to cheer her up. I know. I'll fix it for you. Rin ran out of the room. She went into my room and got a giant's bag. What is she doing? I was gonna give it to her anyways, so I didn't really care, but... Rin, what are you doing? There you go. She used super glue and put it on the hole in the bag. There, I fixed it. What have you done? Oh no! <sighs> she started crying again. Sorry. Rin, she's crying from joy, and so am I. You're finally a Giants fan. Yay! I'm glad you like it. She was an amazing girl. I underestimated her. You're part of the club now. Sorry I underestimated you, Rin. Huh? Oh, okay, I guess. Mom was still crying. Then my dad and my sister came home. Ayane and I explained to them what happened. They turned red from anger. Dad ended up leaving her. He kicked her out of the house. She begged him to forgive her, but he said he didn't want to be family with someone like her. She was done for. She left the house with the giant's handbag. Dad also sued her for damages, so she needed money. I heard she's walking around the station with her giant's bag these days, begging for money. She's quite famous, actually. Everyone calls her the giant's lady. As a giant's fan, I wish she would stop. Then one day, someone reported her and the police took her away. Nobody ever saw her again. I wonder what she's up to now. Anyways, my sister and Ayane's brother finally got married. Good, good. Now, they can help me with my Giants fan club. Grandpa, the Giants are gonna win this year. I know it. We got this new member for our fan club. Rin, she's a true Giants fan. I believe she's the one. She'll help me lead the Giants to win the pennant this year. Watch over us, will you? Rin, when the new season starts, I'm taking you to the Giants game. Help me lead them to victory. No way. I just want to play house. Uh-huh. What? 36? Seriously? 36? You're 30, right? She's six years older than you. How can you marry her? Hi, Makina. This is Remy, my husband's sister. Talk about getting off on the wrong foot. One day, I was at my husband's parents' house for dinner. Then, she came and joined us. The first thing she said to me was... You look old. How old are you? Who says that to someone who they just met? Anyways, when I told her, she flipped out. You're 10 years older than me? You're almost 40. You're an old lady. Sota, she's way too old for you. If she was 32 or something, fine, but she's 36? You're insane. Like she said, I was six years older than him. We met at work. I was in charge of training new employees at the time. Back in college, I went through a terrible breakup. I never wanted to date again, and I was okay with being single for the rest of my life. But he said to me, Akina, I won't let you down. I promise. You're my everything. He asked me out many times. I finally gave in and started dating him. A few years later, we got married, and he was so sweet. I thought I could never trust anyone again, but with him, I felt so safe. He was the one for me. So I had no idea his sister was like this. I was so shocked. Remy, stop being rude. I love her. She's the one for me. But she's six years older than you. So what? What's the big deal? Plus, look at her. She's so pretty. What? Stop saying that, Sota. Stop complimenting her. Ugh. Remy, that's enough. Akina, I'm so sorry about this. Remy, go home. 
no, no. I won't let you marry her. No way. Be quiet. Why can't you just be happy for us like everyone else? Don't ever talk to her like that again. Afterwards, he kept her away from me. But still, I was married now, and I couldn't avoid her completely. Sota's dad just passed away a few months ago, so there were all these kinds of gatherings that year. And every time she saw me, she said mean things to me. Remy was married and lived with her husband, Goki, and her son, who was in elementary school. Goki was quite the character himself. He always said mean things to me, too. Ugh, you're still married to him? Get a divorce already. You're an old lady. How dare you trick my brother into marrying you? If dad was around, he'd throw you out in a second. You're 36? You're not even hot. How did you get with Sota in the first place? I know, right? She's so lame. And you're too old to have kids. Get a divorce already, seriously. I'll find a nice young girl for my little brother. You got a nice ass, though. I'm sure you'll be able to find some other guy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> true. She does have a nice ass. <laughs> <sighs> Every time something like this happened, I talked to my husband and his mother. They always told them to stop, but those two, they just never learned. They still said horrible things to me whenever they saw me. Akina, where were you? The bank? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Move, please. Oh, come on, listen. Do you have cash on you? Can you give us some? We want to go to Hawaii. My friend went the other day, and we want to go too. Yeah, our son has never traveled abroad before, so can you front us some cash? Uh, no. Why should I pay for your vacation? But you're 36. You must have a lot of money saved up. You're too old to have kids anyways. What's the point of saving money? Come on, we'll spend it for you. Yeah. You gotta spend money to make money. I'm not giving you guys a dime. Stop trying to leech off of me. Why are you so cheap? You're older than me. You're supposed to buy stuff for us. You took away my brother from me. It's the least you can do. You're ugly and cheap? <laughs> that can't be good. I got them on tape. When I told my husband and his mother, they were furious. I told you to stay away from Akina. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Oh, Akina. I'm so sorry. I won't invite them here when you're coming over. What? Why are you taking her side? I'm your daughter. Shut up! Apologize to Akina right now! If you don't, I'm cutting all ties with you. That means no inheritance for you. You want that? Huh? Sota's mom yelled at them for me. They finally apologized. I don't think they meant it though. But after that, they stopped harassing me. I guess they realized that Sota and his mom were on my side. Then, a few months later, I got pregnant. I didn't want Remy to find out, so I didn't tell her, but... I saw you the other day. You went to see a gynecologist. Do you know what you're talking about? Wait, are you pregnant? No. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm not feeling well. I'm hanging up now. I guess she saw me. Wait, you're not feeling well? You mean, you got morning sickness? No, no! You pregnant? That can't be! You're 36! You're an old lady! So, you done? I'm hanging up. Wait, hang on! You realize you're almost 40, right? Giving birth at your age is really risky. What if something bad happens to the baby? I'm aware of the risks. That's why we went to see a gynecologist who specialized in that field. What if the kid is disabled or something? I know, get an abortion. It's not too late, right? I don't want to take any chances. There was no talking to her. I left the room, but she kept on the phone. Then Sota came home and heard everything. Remy, I heard everything you just said. Sota? You're a terrible person. Akina, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna block her. If she comes over to the house, don't let her in. Actually, maybe we should just move. Then he hung up on her and blocked her before I could say anything. She was causing me nothing but trouble, but at least Sota was on my side. After the phone call, Sota went and talked to his mom. He told her to keep an eye on Remy. Thanks to them, she didn't bother me after that, but... Oh, look at your stomach. I can't believe you got pregnant. You got some nerve, you know that. Hey, stop ignoring me! A few months later, I saw her at a family gathering. She started harassing me again. Goki was there too. He had a mean smile on his face. Ugh, they just never learn. I just ignored them though. I stayed near Sota and his mom, so they couldn't really do anything. But then... Huh? What? Seriously? I'll be right there. 
Work? Did something happen? Yeah, some kind of system failure. I gotta go take care of it. I'll be back soon, though. Just wait here, alright? Oh, dear. It's okay. Go on. I'll look after her, so no worries. I got us some cake, Akina. Come on, let's eat. We can eat Sota's piece, too. What? Oh, come on. Leave some for me, too. Okay, be right back. Then, Sota left the house. It was just the five of us now. My mother-in-law, Blair, and Remy's family. Remy's son was sleeping on the couch. My mother-in-law stayed by my side the entire time, so Remy couldn't do anything. Phew. I was kind of nervous when Sota left, but looks like I got nothing to worry about. But then, the doorbell rang. My mother-in-law went to the front door. It sounded like one of her neighbors. She was talking to her for a long time. Oh, it's raining. We better take in the laundry. Ah, <sighs> but there's so much. Hmm. Um, I'll help. Help? This is your job. You're a housewife. Come on, let's go. I didn't want to go near her, but someone had to take in the laundry. It was hard for me to stand up these days, but I had no choice. Let's just get this over with. Remy kept saying mean things to me, but I just ignored her and took in the laundry. Ah, that should do it. Ah, uh, hold on. Can you get something for me from the shed? What? There are these comic books in the shed. My brother used to read them as a kid, and can you take those with you? Uh, it's raining pretty hard, so maybe next time. We need to clear some space. We got a stroller we don't use anymore, so come on, hurry up. Ouch, stop pulling. Fine, I'll go. Ugh. Goki pulled my arm and dragged me to the shed. Then Remy opened the door and he threw me in. Ouch, what the? Hey, don't leave me in here. This is what you get for making a baby with my brother. Sorry about this, but if you have a baby, it'll mess with my son's share of the inheritance, so... All right, Remy? Stop! My foot was stuck on some cardboard. Then they locked the door. Help! Help! Get me out of here! Sota! Blair! I was starting to feel dizzy. It was so hot in here. Wait, no. My water broke. Ugh. I felt something warm beneath me. My... my water broke! No! Help! Someone, please! Help! Please! Akira? Sota! Uh, it's locked! Hold on, I'll get the key! Help! Hurry! My water broke! When I heard a car pull up, I screamed as loud as possible. It's Sota! Don't go in the house, please! When he heard my voice, he came rushing over and went back into the house to get the key. He opened the door for me, and I crawled out of there. Sota! My water broke! The baby! Take me to the hospital! No! Akina, don't worry. I got you. We got the car, and he drove me to the hospital. I had to get a C-section, but the baby was fine. Oh, Akina, I'm so sorry. I should have never left you alone with her. I'm so sorry. Blair apologized to me over and over again. It's okay. The baby is fine, so... We'll have to stay in the hospital for a few days, but we'll be fine. Ouch. Oh, don't get up. I'm just glad the baby is okay. Thank God. How are you feeling, dear? I'm good. It still hurts a bit, but the doctor said I'll be fine. Hey... Please stop crying. This isn't your fault. No, it is. I should have been there to protect you. I'll never forgive them for what they did. They're finished. I'm gonna tear them apart. We'll take care of those idiots. So just forget about them, okay? You just rest and focus on getting better. Okay, Lair was always really nice. I never seen her this angry. It was kind of scary. I wonder what she's gonna do to them. Then, when I got out of the hospital... What the? Remy? And... Goki? I'm so sorry! Please, forgive me! Akina, I'm so sorry! Please forgive us! Please! We feel really bad for what we did! Please! On my way home from the hospital, Blair told me to stop by the house. There, Remy and Goki begged me for my forgiveness. They both shaved their heads. I know this doesn't make it right, but I think they finally realized what they did. Blair, did you... I was there when she did it. It was kind of scary. Then, Remy and Goki handed me an envelope with $20,000 in it. I felt like you were stealing my brother away from me, and that's why I said all those mean things to you. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again, and I'll never come near you, so please forgive me. I was just doing what Remy told me, but now I realize that I was wrong. I'm so sorry. Akina, I know it's not a lot of money, but... They insisted, so... But hey, if you still want to press charges, go right ahead. 
What? No, please. If you don't forgive me, I'm gonna lose my job. If he gets fired, we won't be able to pay rent. We'll starve to death. And I won't be able to get my nails done. Please, please forgive us. Turns out Blair was friends with Goki's employer. He even helped her shave their heads. Everyone around them is so strict. Why did they end up like this in the first place? I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to forgive them, to be honest. But what if they tried to get back at me years later? I just wanted them out of my life. So I took the money and said, I'll never forgive you, but I won't press charges. Just stay away from me. Don't call me. Don't come near me or my family ever again. If you can promise me that, I won't press charges. They nodded over and over again. They thanked me and apologized to me once again. I got it all in writing too, so finally it was over. But about a week later, I saw them at a school event. They had a wig on, but it was pretty windy that day. Then their wigs went flying up in the air. They chased after it, but it was too late. Everyone found out about what they did to me and things got pretty awkward for them. They had no choice but to move out of the city. Goki couldn't get a new job either. I heard Remy works day and night to provide for her family now. I can't take this anymore, Mom! Help me! Goki doesn't even work anymore! And my son is having a hard time fitting in at school! Help me! I want to divorce him! Can I come live with you again, please? She called Blair for help a few times, but she never responded. She said it was all her fault, and she wasn't willing to help. I'm thinking about moving out. I don't want her showing up here unannounced, you know? You sure? Didn't you build this house with your late husband? You must have a lot of memories here. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll understand. I don't want to see Remy ever again. Anyways, did you hear? There's a big Hokkaido food festival at the department store. We should go. Oh, sounds good, but I gotta take care of mommy. Oh, let Soda look after her. He's her father. Come on, it'll be fun. My treat. <laughs> okay then, sounds good. She was pretty scary when she got mad, but otherwise, she was so sweet. I was so grateful for her. Anyways, with Remy gone, things were finally back to normal. Ah, <sighs> peace at last. I'm Natsumi. I'm a 28-year-old office worker. I live with my parents. It takes two and a half hours to get to work, so I wanted to get my own place. But my mom passed on seven years ago, and I didn't want to leave my dad by himself, so I decided to stay. Natsumi, I'll be fine. You go and live your life. I know, Dad. But isn't it better to have someone to talk to? I mean, I don't have a boyfriend, and I'm not getting married anytime soon, so I'll stick around. Yeah. Thanks, Natsumi. My dad was the quiet type. I really enjoyed spending time with him at home. Oh, and Dad, you're only 56. If you want to get remarried, you go on ahead, okay? Don't worry about me, okay? <laughs> Never thought about that. This was a few years back. Present day. Dad's been acting all weird lately. I noticed that he was spending more time picking out the right tie. How do I look? You look good, Dad. Thanks. All right then, see you later. Okay, what do you want for dinner? Oh, I may not be home for dinner tonight, sorry. Okay, no problem. I'll go eat with a friend or something. Be careful out there. You too. Dad seemed really happy. Maybe he finally found someone. I mean, I still wanted him to care about mom, but he's still young, you know? If he found someone new and he's happy with her, I had no problem with that, so I didn't stick my head into his business. But then, a month later... Good morning, Dad. Who are you? Good morning. I'm Mari. Seiji is my boss. I was out drinking with him last night and got too drunk to go home, so I slept over. Hope you don't mind. She was young and pretty and she was playing with her phone in our living room. I see. Um, where is he? He's washing his face, I think. Okay. I rushed over there. Dad, what the hell? She scared me! Ah, uh, sorry about that. I should have told you. You were asleep when we got back, so... 
she's pretty young. You're her boss? Were you two drinking alone? You think that's a good idea? Drinking all night with your subordinates? What happened to you, Dad? This isn't like you. Well, um... He was blushing. I think I know what's going on here. Then I felt sick. Wait, her? Yeah, we started dating two months ago. You're kidding me, right? Apparently, Mari reminds him of mom when she was young. He says it's her voice and hair. Plus, she made sweets just like mom. And she liked all the same movies she did. I can be myself when I'm around her, you know? No worries, I haven't done anything with her yet. Stop right there. I don't want to know. Listen, Dad, who you decide to date is none of my business. But at least introduce me to her, okay? And tell me if she's spending the night. She scared me. I was pretty mad and Dad realized that he messed up. He apologized to me and introduced me to Mari. I get it. He's much older than me, but we're taking this very seriously. I really want to be there for him. I hope you're okay with that. Well, um, you two are adults, so it's not for me to say. I don't have a problem with it. How old are you again? I'm 33. What? You're only five years older than me? Oh, I see. Just think of me as the big sister you never had then. Okay. And so now I had a new sister slash potential stepmother. Things were off to an awkward start. But Dad didn't invite her over without telling me first. He kept his promise. He always told me ahead of time that she was coming over. And when I was home, they kept their voices down. She only went into the living room, kitchen, and the bathroom. She never used any of the other rooms. I guess she was alright. But then, about two months later, Mari started to change. Natsumi, listen to this. The other day, I asked Seiji to marry me, and he said yes, very soon. I see. We're engaged now. You can call me mom if you want. Um, yeah. Once you guys get married, I guess that's what I'll call you. Oh, Natsumi, I am so happy. I really want us to be a family, you know. Okay. Can I borrow this? Huh? My necklace? No, that thing means a lot to me. Oh, how about this perfume? No, that was my mother's. Why do you want to use them anyways? No reason. I mean, we're family, so I thought we could share some things. That's all. You can marry my dad, but these are my property. I can't lend them to you. Please don't take my things, okay? What? I'm just trying to get to know you better, Natsumi. You're cheap. You're nothing like Seiji. Unbelievable. That's fine. My dad and I are different. Then, she started taking things from our fridge without asking. This one time, she stole the donuts I was saving for later. And this other time, she took a stuffed animal from the living room without asking. She was getting worse by the day. I told Dad to tell her to stop, and he did. She stopped when he told her to, but started again a few weeks later. Mari is just awful. I have no idea why Dad started dating her. I was complaining about Mari to one of my colleagues. His name was Keita. He was a brilliant man. He was handsome, too. I kind of liked him. Maybe he'll be able to give me some good advice. I get how your dad feels, though. Huh? I mean, Mari's 23 years younger than his old wife, right? I envy that. Um... I like the nice and young, you know? Think about it, Natsumi. It's like choosing between a used item or a brand new one. The choice is obvious. Your dad is amazing, though. He's in his 50s, right? How did he manage to get a new girlfriend? Maybe he can teach me a few things. I was so disappointed in him. <laughs> so you don't like Keita anymore? Oh, Aiko, it's not funny. Dad dating some young girl is bad enough, and now I found out that Keita's a jerk? Ugh. Hey, at least you found out before you asked him out. 
I guess. Ugh, what am I gonna do about Dad? Got any ideas? You want them to split up? To be blunt? Yeah. I don't think she's the right one for Dad, but he really loves her. He says she reminds him of Mom when she was young, and I haven't seen him this happy in years. So, I can't say anything. I see. Your dad knows about Mari's behavior towards you, though, right? Yeah. I tell him all the time, but I don't tell him everything. Don't want to disappoint him, you know? Then show him! If he sees what she's really like, maybe he'll think twice about the marriage. What do you mean? Get her on tape! Then show him how she treats you like crap! Telling him isn't enough. You gotta provide some solid evidence. I see. She was right. Just like how I learned about the true nature of Keita. He should learn the truth about her. Sooner the better. Yep, you got this. Thank you. I'm gonna give it a shot. After that, I set up video cameras and voice recorders to get her on tape. She had no idea that I had cameras all over the room. Give me your jewelry or get out. Stop leeching off of your dad. Move out already. I want to cuddle with your dad. She was getting worse by the day. Then one day she pulled my chair and tripped me. It was getting physical now. I wanted to yell at her, but I was gathering evidence, so I toughed it out. Then one day, I decided to talk to dad. I had more than enough evidence. I'm home! Sorry I'm late. Dad? Mari? I came home late, but the place was empty. Her shoes were here, though. Where could they be? I had a bad feeling. I started searching the house. Then... <coughs> <coughs> hey! What's going on here? Stop that, Mari! Mari was trying to drown my dad in the bathtub! Dad, get up! You okay? <coughs> Not to me. You okay? Can you breathe? Yeah, I'm fine. I think I fell asleep or something. No, I saw it. Mari was trying to drown you. What is wrong with you, Mari? What? I didn't do anything. I was just trying to wake him up. Liar, I saw you. You're not getting away with this. I didn't do anything. I told you. Stop it, you two. I'm fine. Please don't fight. No, Dad. Kick her out. Now. You can't marry her. I won't let you. What? You said before that it was none of your business. Come on, Seiji. Forget her. I made some dinner. Let's eat. Not so fast. Dad, put your clothes on and come out to the living room. I gotta show you something. Mari tried to stop me, but I didn't let her. Then I showed my dad the evidence. His face turned pale. He looked really upset. Mari, I'm sorry, but like I said before, I want some time to think about the marriage. I knew that you two weren't getting along, but I had no idea it was this bad. Wait, you were having second thoughts about the marriage too? Yeah, I've been really busy with work recently, and I told her we'll get married next year, but she wouldn't listen. It was as if she was in a hurry or something, and whenever I said no, she got really angry, so I was starting to have my doubts. What? You're calling off the marriage now? You can't do that. If you're going to do that, I'm never coming back here again. I won't talk to you at work. I won't bake you cookies anymore. I'm going to stop styling my hair like your old wife. Forget you. You always had a nice tie on and you were handsome for your age. So I give you a chance, but you barely spend any money on me. Your gifts are always lame, and all we ever do is go to the park or go see a movie. So lame. I wanted to go to nice restaurants, a five-star hotel. So the truth comes out. I see. So it was all about the money, wasn't it? Duh. What else? I heard you had money and land, so I thought, why not? Why else would I date an old guy like you, idiot? That's enough. So you were trying to drown him back there, weren't you? 
Shut up. I told him to sign the marriage papers, but he wouldn't. So I was just trying to teach him a lesson. A lesson? What you did is assault! Unbelievable! You're not getting away with this. What are you gonna do, huh? Call the police? He's not even hurt. And there's no proof. You don't have anything on me. You're so stupid. <laughs> then she left the house. Dad seemed really upset. He apologized to me and cried for hours in front of the altar. We went to the police afterwards, but Mari was right. He wasn't hurt, and there was no proof. We didn't have anything on her. I can't let her go, though. I gotta get back at her. Sounds rough. I know. Why don't you hire a lawyer and sue her? I got a friend from college. Want me to introduce you? Yes, please. My friend hooked me up with a lawyer. It looked like he knew what he was doing. A few weeks later, he set up a meeting with all parties involved. I don't have proof of her trying to drown my dad, but for the other stuff she did to me, I got it all on tape. Take a look. Oh dear. I'm so sorry my daughter did that to you. Ugh, stop overreacting. You got a lawyer? What is wrong with you? Ah! You shut up! We own a family business, and we really can't have things like this getting out. I know it's selfish for me to ask, but if we could keep this on the down low... What do you think, Dad? Well, you're the victim here, Natsumi. You decide. What? You're in love with me, not her! You're supposed to defend me! You enjoyed going out with me, didn't you? It's the least you can do! I mean, I... Ah. She should have just kept her mouth shut. Her mom struck her again and knocked her out cold. After some thought, I decided to settle. They paid us for damages and promised us that she'll never come near my father again. Mari's dad paid for her. We're gonna kick her out of the house. She'll quit her job, too. I'm sure you don't want her working at the same place, so... A relative of mine owns a factory, so we'll send her there. She'll work there until she pays off the debt. As long as she doesn't come near us again, I don't really care. Mari, never show your face in front of us again, okay? <laughs> Shut up! You're not the boss of me! This is all your fault! Apologize to me! She just doesn't learn. How stupid is she? Her dad slapped her, and she was knocked out cold again. Her parents had to carry her out of there, and as promised, she got shipped off to the countryside to work at some dead-end factory. We never saw her again after that. I kept an eye out on her socials just in case, though. My hands are so dirty, and I'm covered in oil! I hate this place! Someone please get me out of here! My parents took all my savings! This is bullshit! Give me back my money! Things weren't looking good for her. She was losing followers by the day. About six months later, I blocked her account. Sorry about everything. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad everything worked out. But be careful, okay, Dad? I don't care if she looks like Mom. You gotta stay on your toes. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Natsumi. He was smiling, but he still looked upset. I was worried about him, so I kept living with him, spending more than two hours to commute. I'm fine, really. You go and live your life, Natsumi. I know. Um, the thing is, I got a boyfriend now. He says he wants to marry me someday. Oh yeah? Yeah. Remember that lawyer that helped us out with Mari? Oh, him? Sounds great! I'm so happy! When is the wedding? You should wear your mom's kimono. Look at this one! This will look so good on you! Dad, settle down! We just started dating, so I'll keep you in the loop, okay? Sorry, sorry. I'm just really happy for you, that's all. Thanks, Dad. Of course. Hey, Mom. The past few months have been rough, but 
Things are finally back to normal. Watch over us, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Please make sure Dad stays out of trouble. I don't want to deal with anyone like her ever again. I'm Heita. I'm a nudist. I always hated clothes. When my parents weren't around, I always took off my clothes. But my sister Ayaka hated this. She was my twin sister. She was really pretty. It was hard to believe that we were twins. And my parents loved her more than me. Well, I was a nudist, so I guess I can't blame them. All I did was cause them trouble. Around age 2, I learned that taking off my clothes in public wasn't a very good idea. So, I started wearing clothes outside the house, but mom begged me to wear clothes inside the house as well. So I always wore tank tops and shorts, but it was so itchy, I couldn't focus on anything. I was always irritated, and my parents always yelled at me, but they realized it was better than having me run around the house naked. Eventually, they stopped yelling at me. By the time I was in elementary school, I got used to wearing clothes. I still wore tank tops and shorts at the house, but when I went out, I wore normal clothes just like everyone else. I was pretty proud of myself. Middle school was fun too. I even made friends. But then, Ayaka started being really mean to me for some reason. Heita, you're so lame. I can't believe you're my twin brother. What does me being lame have to do with you? I don't see the logic there. My friends make fun of me for being your twin sister because you're such a lame-o. Stop dressing like a nerd. Here, read a magazine and learn to dress properly. I don't want to dress up like a model. I'll look stupid. I'll wear whatever I want. Leave me alone. I don't even want to wear clothes to begin with. You should be grateful that I'm not running around naked. But this pissed her off even more. She got our parents on her side. They started harassing me too after that. Eita, I heard you got a hundred on your last test. Is that true? Yeah, so? Read the room, kid. You're making Ayaka look bad. Huh? Think about her feelings too. You're saying I should do bad on a test on purpose, Akayaka? Yes, you guys are twins. You're making her look bad. Think about her feelings. You understand what I'm saying to you, son? No, why should I get a bad grade on purpose? It doesn't make any sense. If anything, Ayaka should work harder and try to get better grades. Why don't you tutor her, dad? Ah. Don't tell me what to do. I'm your father. Just do as I say. If you keep embarrassing her like this, I'm gonna kick you out of the house. I'm your father. I raised you. Do as I say! He threw the remote at me. I flinched, but he didn't scare me. I could never keep my mouth shut when I thought something wasn't right. So I wasn't gonna back down. Okay, you raised me. Fine. But that's what parents are supposed to do by law, isn't it? You and mom brought me into this world. You can't just expect me to- Ugh! He threw a box of tissues at me. I tried to tell him violence wasn't the answer, but I probably shouldn't. If I said that, he'd punch me in the face. Mom was standing behind Dad. She didn't say anything, but I knew what she was trying to tell me. She was telling me to run before things got out of control. I went back to my room, took off my clothes, and jumped into bed. <sighs> it feels so good. I can't wait to leave this place. Then, I fell asleep. The next morning, I went downstairs for breakfast, but my seat was gone. Uh, can I get some food? No breakfast for you. This is what you get for talking back to me. Haha, <laughs> take that, loser. Hope you learned your lesson. Just do as we say from now on, okay? And stop embarrassing me in school. Okay, you wanna play it like this? Fine. I looked over at mom. She looked nervous. She was packing some food for me, I think. She couldn't say anything to dad, so this was the best she could do, I guess. What a terrible father. I couldn't take this anymore. Mom looked at me, telling me to stop, but I couldn't hold it in. Okay, so you're not gonna feed me until I clean up my act? Yep, and not just food. Clothes, school supplies, and everything in between. Do as I say, or I'm not buying you anything. I make the rules around here. Get that through your head. This is my house. Do as I say, or get the hell out. Thanks, right to the point. Nice and short. I got it all on tape. This is all the evidence I need. Huh? Evidence? I got you on tape. Now I'm gonna go to the cops. Oh, and child services too. What? You little shit. Give that to me. Stop messing around. If this goes public, who loses job? Then what, Ayaka? That means no more allowance for you. Magazines, jewelry, clothes. You won't be able to buy any of those things. What? You threatening me? Hey, Dad, he's just bluffing, right? 
right? I don't know. That's for the police to decide. But without a job, I won't be able to give you money. That means no more karaoke. No more hanging out with friends. You'll probably end up losing all your friends. No, no! You gotta stop him, Dad, please! Eita, look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll feed you. I'll buy you whatever you need, okay? He still looked pissed, but Ayaka couldn't let him risk it. He ended up apologizing to me. Honestly though, I wanted to tear him apart. I think I would have been able to get a lot of money from him. I just wanted to leave this place with mom, but I was still in middle school. I decided to accept his apology. Hey Ta, I'm so sorry about all of this. It's all my fault. No mom, it's not your fault. It's all dad's fault. He's the one that gets violent. I'm scared of him too. I'm sorry. I wish I could work, but you know my condition, and I'm not smart either, so... Don't worry, Mom. You've taken care of me all these years. Just take it easy, okay? I gotta go. I still got into fights with my dad and my sister after that. Fast forward a few years, I was now in college. When I started thinking about college two years ago, Dad told me he wasn't gonna give me a dime. He said he was gonna spend every last penny on Ayaka. I was fine with that, though. I just took out a student loan. College was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Then, one day, I'm leaving you guys. Me too. We're gonna live in a big mansion. Huh? What are you talking about? Dad and Ayaka started packing their things. They said they were leaving. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while now. Remember Grandma's place? Well, she's dead now, so we're gonna live there. Yep, the place is under my name now, so I'm out of here. What about us? I don't care about you two. Yeah, just stay here. This place is a dump, but it's perfect for you two. Haha, <laughs> bye. Mom, uh, I guess it's just the two of us now. I think it's fine, though. Yeah, I guess. As long as you're here, dear. Make sure to lock the doors when I'm not home, though, okay? Of course. Don't stay out too late, though, okay? You know how I worry. Sure. After I'm done with classes and work, I'll come straight home. After Dad and Ayaka left, she started feeling much better. Being married to someone like that couldn't have been easy. But with all that weight off her shoulder, she looked really happy. This made me happy, too. But then... Mom, can we get some food? Hurry up! I'm hungry! Let's go! Oh, and Grandma's house is dirty. Clean it up for us. They couldn't do anything around the house, so they came back and tried to get my mom to do it for them. At first, I said no and kicked them out of the house. But then, they started coming over when I wasn't home. Mom got dragged out of the house every now and then. Mom? You went over there again? Just say no. I did, but he just grabbed my arm and dragged me out of the house. He's really strong and scary. I decided to take my courses online so I could stay home and protect my mom. Now I can't even work, and mom is really worried too. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do about my dad and my sister. Uh, sounds like you got a lot on your hands. Yeah. Got any good ideas, Harue? Hmm, I know. Tell your mom she can stay with us. What? At your place? This is Harue. She's an old lady that lives in my neighborhood. Why am I friends with her? Well, we had a common interest. Video games. She was like a mentor to me. I met her through an online video game. She was so good at it. About a year ago, I asked her to teach me in person. She said she lived nearby, so we decided to meet at a cafe. I was pretty surprised when I first saw her. I wasn't expecting an old lady. She turns 80 this year. But she was the real deal. She was so good at video games, it was crazy. And so, we became master and disciple. I hung out with her all the time. Um, what do you mean, though? Well, I teach a sewing class at home, and I always wanted an assistant. It's easy, so no worries. I'm sure you'd feel safer if she was at my house during the day. Yes! Thank you so much. Um, I'll ask my mom. Sure. Just let me know. If she doesn't feel like it, it's fine, too. Thank you. I'll ask her as soon as I get home. And my mom said yes. So now, she was with Harue during the day. Mom was good at sewing, and she got along with Harue really well. She looked really happy, which made me happy. She always talked about her day with a big smile on her face. And now that nobody was home during the day, Dad and Ayaka stopped bothering us. Ah, peace at last. Later, I graduated from college. I started working from home after that. Life was good, but then, something happened. Hey, you're 27 now, right? Send me money then. One day, Dad showed up unannounced and told me to give him money. Apparently, he hired a housekeeper, but he was running out of his savings. Do you hear yourself? This must be really embarrassing for you, leeching off of your son like this. Shut up! I raised you. 
It's the least you can do for everything I've done for you. Yeah, he's right. Pay up. Wait, what about you, Ayaka? He raised you too, right? You provide for him. I'm not like you, okay? I got lots of friends, and I gotta buy makeup and clothes. I don't have money to give to dad. Seriously? How poor are you? Whatever. You guys left us, so I don't care if you're broke because you hired a maid. That's not my problem. Figure it out. What did you say? You shut-in. We know you became a shut-in after college. We heard from your neighbors. Loser, weirdo, you're an embarrassment. Stop slacking off and go get a job and send us money. Not sure what the neighbors said, but I got a job. I work from home. I make around $20,000 a year. That's it? <laughs> I'd make more than you if I worked at a convenience store. And your savings don't count, you know. I bet you saved up a lot of money during college, but that doesn't count as your income. Do you have the $20,000 on you? Give it to me. We need it to pay the maid. Hurry up. Hand it over. Hell no. Why would I give you my hard-earned money? This is for me and my mom. You're not getting a dime. What did you say? You better watch it, kid. I'll kick you out of here if I have to. The house is still under my name. What? We can't just leave. I know. You're a loser without a job. You'd end up on the streets if I kicked you out. Have the money for me by tomorrow. $20,000 by tomorrow. You got that? Bye! Oh, Mom, I want some curry and pork chops. Can you make them for me? I'll pick it up tomorrow with the money. I didn't know what to tell them. Then they left the house. Mom, you okay? Uh, yeah. They talked so fast, so I didn't really understand what they said, but I'm fine. <laughs> oh, Mom. Well, they'll be back tomorrow, so I better get ready. Later, I stayed up late to get ready. The next day, I overslept. Wow, it's noon already. Wait, what the? It looks like they were already here. Someone wrote loser on my back with a sharpie. My sister used to do this to me all the time when we were kids. So I always wore a tank top when my sister still lived here, but damn it. I was too lazy to wash it off, so I walked into the living room. Then, my sister said, You got some crap on your back. Then, she sprayed me down with a bottle of coke she had in her hands. I don't have time for this. I hopped in the shower and cleaned myself up. My sister was so immature, it didn't even make me angry. Okay, mom. Let's go. What we prepared last night, I'll carry them. Hand it over. Huh. Uh, okay. What? What is all this? You guys leaving the house? Stop bluffing. We know you don't have the guts or the money to do that. Just hand over the 20,000 now. Yeah, we told you yesterday. Hurry it up. We got stuff to do. Um, I never agreed to any of that. I got stuff to do too, you know. I don't have time for this. Then, my mom and I left the house. They chased after us, but when they saw what was outside, they just stood there looking confused. Is that a limo? What the hell? Mr. President, good to see you. Is this all the luggage? Thanks. That's a kimono. Be careful, please. Of course. Here you go. Mom, watch your feet. Okay, but what about them? Oh, forget about them. All they can do is leech off of others. <laughs> Screw them. What? What's going on? Later. I explained everything to them to shut them up. I'm a professional gamer. I made my debut when I was in college. I came in first place at a tournament abroad. I got millions of dollars and I invested it into real estate. That's how I make a living these days. What? Real estate? Professional gamer? But I still had some money left over, so I started my own business. I own a school for people who want to become professional gamers. I'm just a board member now and I don't do much, so they only pay me like $20,000 a year, but I get by. Wait, but you said you didn't want to leave the house. Yeah, when we told you to leave yesterday, you looked upset. Oh, that. Well, I mean, what did you expect? Mom and I like this neighborhood, and it's not that easy finding a new place overnight, so whatever. Look, I got a party to get to. It's our company's third anniversary. Bye. Wait! Don't leave us! We need money! Later, I got us a new house and moved out before dad could do anything. My mom wanted to be near Harue, so I bought a house in her neighborhood. These days, she's spending more time with her than me. It's like they're a real family. Ah, glad it all worked out, dear. It's all thanks to you, Harue. You taught me everything about video games. Everything I have today, it's all thanks to you. And you helped out my mom too. She loves sewing. Oh, I didn't do much. It was all you, dear. Hard work always pays off. 
What happened to my dad and my sister? Well, for starters, dad got fired. There was a massive layoff at his company. He was in his 60s already, so things weren't looking good for him. He started leeching off of my sister. She could no longer buy makeup and clothes. I heard she's a mess now. Dad tried to get a job, but he was so arrogant. He got rejected by every company he applied to. I heard he started to lose his mind after that. Help me! Dad has dementia or something. He sneaks out of the house all the time now, and he's always getting into fights with random people. I'm constantly getting calls from the police. I can't work like this. Can I come live with you, please? I didn't block them on the house phone, just in case, you know. So, she always left voice messages on our house phone. But I always stopped listening after a few seconds and deleted the message. I couldn't care less about you two. Rot in hell. Mom and Harue were all I cared about. Heita, look. I'm getting pretty good at this. Huh? <laughs> Damn, Mom. You're really good. Right? Harue taught me. Mom started spending more time playing video games now. What about your sewing class? Oh well, as long as she's having fun. Anyways, I'm just glad it all worked out. Ah, <sighs> peace at last. I'm Himari. I'm a 35-year-old housewife. I live with my husband Hiroki and my daughter Sumomo. They were quite the character, but I loved them so much. Sumomo, can you jump on top of me? I want to do some push-ups, but I need more weight. Okay. He always did push-ups with Sumomo on his back. Dad, you're so strong. Haha, <laughs> I sure am. Time to drink some protein. Want some too, Sumomo? Okay, I want to be strong too. Haha, <laughs> all right then. Cheers then! Cheers! No protein for you, Sumomo. But mom, I need to get strong. I can't fight evil if I'm weak. You'll be fine. Please, I need the powder. I need it. Don't say that. People will get the wrong idea. Dad, help! Oh, uh, just let her have a little bit. No, it's not good for her. Maybe when she's a bit older. Hmm, too bad. Hmm. So yeah, they're pretty weird, right? My husband really loves working out. He even has barbells at home. And now Sumomo wants to try it too. <sighs> oh, and he has another hobby. He likes to collect antiques. He really loves those things. And he spends a lot of money on it. Look how beautiful these are, Sumomo. Just like my muscles. Okay, I shall eat dinner with this bowl tonight. It'll help me become beautiful. Hold on. You can't do that. Father, what's the point of having a bowl if you can't use it? Well, uh... Well? She's always making remarks like this. She was a brilliant child. Then one day, I had some good news for them. Hiroki, Sumomo, I got some good news. What is it? I'm working out. Me too. I need to get stronger. Just stop for a second. I'm pregnant. Oh, all right. Male, female? Sumomo, say boys and girls, okay? Not male and female. And I still don't know. I hope it's a boy. I'm gonna work out with him. What? Oh, you. All you ever think about is working out. Hey, you hear that, Mr. Muscle? I'm getting a new brother or sister. <laughs> Sumomo, you talking to your muscles? <laughs> Anyways, they seemed happy to hear the good news. Two months later, I wasn't feeling so well. I'm home. Hey, sorry I couldn't cook today. All I got is frozen food. Huh? Morning sickness. I'm sorry. Oh, well, frozen food isn't good for my muscles. Sorry. Maybe you can go out to dinner with Sumomo. Nah, it's fine. It's not good for my muscles, but whatever. Sorry. It's okay, Mom. I love frozen food. Thanks. My husband was really nice to me when I was pregnant with Sumomo. He even cooked for me when I was feeling sick. But now, all he ever did was work out. I guess that's just how men are. Then, one weekend... One more set! Ah! Mom, you okay? Should I call a doctor? I'm fine. Thank you, dear. Dad, Mom needs help now! No can do. I gotta finish my set. It's all about timing, you know? That's why I used the timer. Dad, 
why do you want muscle? Because it looks cool! That's it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I see. What's the point, though, if you can't use it for anything? What? I can use it. For what? I can't think of anything. Uh, I know. I can help Mom with housework. I'll go do the laundry. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Go Sumamo! He never listens to me, but I guess he'll listen to Sumamo. Thanks, Sumamo. Huh? For what? I guess she doesn't realize it. Still, great job, Sumamo. After that, my husband was a changed man. He started helping around the house. Sumamo, see? My muscles are really useful. I see that, Dad. I want to gain muscle, too. He was doing all of this for his muscles, but whatever. He was still helping me out a lot, so... A few months later, I gave birth to my second child. It was a boy! My husband was really happy. We named him Yuzuto. Hey, Mr. Muscle, I now have a little brother. <laughs> you talking to your muscles again? I saw it on TV. The guy looked strong, so I want to be strong, too. You want to be strong? Yep. Why? I'll tell you later. Oh, come on. Tell me now. <sighs> I'm just so glad everything went well. Thank God. Yeah. Thank you, Hiroki. You really helped me out. Of course. A week later, I was finally able to go home. Home sweet home. Mom, you're back! Welcome to your new home, Yuzuto. Himari, Yuzuto, welcome home. Ah, oh, so good to be back. This is your new home, Yuzuto. I felt so good to be back home with my family. But then, I was still feeling sick. Sometimes I couldn't even do things around the house. Hiroki, sorry, but I'm feeling really sick again. Could you help me with my housework again? What? Hell no! Over the past few months, I lost so much muscle. I can't take it anymore. I gotta hit the weights. You're a housewife. Do your job. Dad, I thought you were using your muscles to help her. Ugh, stop saying that already. Listen, muscles don't have to be useful. It just looks cool, okay? That's all I care about. I'm leaving. Gotta train. Hiroki, wait! He ignored me and ran out of the room. Oh, Dad. Hey, Mr. Muscle, you're not useless, are you? Sumomo looked really upset. Poor Sumomo. I had to say something to him. I got up and went over to his training room. Hey, apologize to Sumomo. What's the matter with you? Is working out more important to you than your family? <sighs> Shut up already. My number one priority is my antique collection. Number two is working out. Family comes in at third place. Happy? How dare you? I bet you're feeling sick all the time because you don't work out. You should start training, you know? You gotta snap out of it. Screw you! I ran out of the room, crying. When I got to the living room, Sumomo was talking to Yuzuto. Hey, Yuzuto, muscles are used to inspire the ones you love. That's why I'm training hard. <laughs> Sumomo, Kitamura said it on TV. Kitamura is legendary. Who's that? I had no idea, but she made me feel better. So that's why she was working out, to be like her favorite superhero. What should I do about him, though? I don't know if I can stay with him. Let's sleep on it and talk to him again. I might have to start thinking about divorce, though. After that, I went upstairs to do the laundry. I'm feeling dizzy. Better be careful. After I finished, I went back downstairs. But then my husband told me to come back upstairs again. I didn't know he was up there. Hey, Himari! Catch! He threw a dumbbell at me! Don't drop it now! What? Uh-huh! Uh I had no choice but to catch it, but then... Ah! I fell down the stairs! I was crushed by the dumbbell. This thing weighs more than 40 pounds! Uh, help me! <laughs> You're so weak. You better start working out. I'm gonna go back to training now. I can't move. It wasn't that heavy, but I was feeling sick, so... I can't breathe. I gotta get this thing off of me. Help! Mom! Sumomo to the rescue! I'll help! 
Sumomo came rushing over, but she was so small. There's no way she can move this. But then... <coughs> she tried really hard to get that thing off of me. Her face was turning red. Then finally, she did it. She got the dumbbell off of me. <coughs> Mom, you okay? Yeah, Sumomo. Thank you so much. Dad needs to be punished for this. Motivation without love only leads to trouble. And so do muscles without love. That's what Kitamura said. I gotta take out Dad's muscles. Let me handle this. What? What are you saying? And who is Kitamura? Sumomo ran into my husband's training room. I chased after her. He was on the bench press machine. Ugh. Evil muscles, time to take you out! Huh? Sumomo, get out of here! Ah, this looks good. Hey, that's my vase. What are you doing? Sumomo placed the vase on the barbell. Muscles, vase. So useless if you ask me. What are you doing? Get it off. I can't put the weight down like this. Please, Sumomo. That thing cost me $10,000. Please. It's my favorite vase. I can't live without it. Please. He couldn't put the weight down. His arms were starting to twitch. Now for the finishing touch. This should help with your muscles, Dad. What are you doing? Sumomo went into the kitchen and brought a pink bag. It was my husband's strawberry-flavored protein. No, stop it! Take that! Sumomo poured the protein all over him. He was covered in pink now. <laughs> Look at him! Ah, I can't see! Help! Dad, you got this! Then he finally dropped his weights. His precious face hit the floor and shattered in half. Ugh. Please help me! Please! I can't see! Help me! I can't breathe! Looks like the barbell crushed him. How am I supposed to help him? This thing weighs more than 260 pounds. I can't move this. I had no choice but to call an ambulance. Hope he'll be okay. Dad, tough it out! Use your muscles! Sumomo tried to cheer him on, but it was no use. I tried to move it too, but it didn't move at all. And everyone in the neighborhood was old, so... Oh no, is he foaming at the mouth? This can't be good. Then the paramedics arrived. They rushed him to the hospital. He was fine, just a few broken bones. And after all that, he could no longer work out. It wasn't because he was injured. It was because he was traumatized by what happened. Can't say I blame him. He nearly died and lost his most valuable collection. He really loved working out, so I kind of felt bad for him. Just kidding. Good riddance. He brought this on himself. A few months later, he lost most of his muscles. He was really skinny and not in a good way. He was always skinny, but he was losing weight so fast. Apparently, he was having trouble sleeping too, so maybe that's why. Then, a few months later... He was starting to feel better. I decided to talk with him. I decided to get a divorce. Himari, what's all this about? I want a divorce. Sign these. You're joking, right? Please don't leave me. My muscles left me. And now my family's gonna betray me too? You're the one that betrayed us. Sign it now. I'm done with you. Hold on. Please. We can talk about this. Come on. Then he grabbed my arm. Don't touch me! Ugh. What the? I didn't push him that hard, but he fell down. I don't remember him being so weak. I guess he really lost all his muscles. His precious face, his muscles, and now his family. He lost it all. Poor guy. He had nothing left. I guess Sumomo was right. Motivation without love only leads to trouble. Well said, Mr. Kitamura, whoever you are. And so the divorce was finalized, and he paid me for damages. He also had to pay child support every month from now on. And I got a pretty good deal in the settlement. He tried to fight it at first, but when I threatened to press charges about what he did to me, he reluctantly agreed. Honestly, I still think he got off easy. One, two, one, two. What are you doing, Sumomo? Working out? I'm training to protect my loved ones. Hey, Mr. Muscle, you hear me? We have to work hard to keep this world a safe place. Got that? 
Good luck, Sumomo. Call me Muscle Sumomo from now on. Huh? I thought of the name yesterday. I see. Yuzuto, train with me, come on! You can be Muscle Yuzuto. Come on, then! Maybe a little later. But hey, thanks for everything, Sumomo. You really helped me out. Don't thank me, thank Kitamura. I don't know who that is. And so now it's just the three of us. I think everything's gonna be okay. But maybe I should start working out too. I gotta be strong to protect my children. All right, time to hit the gym.